Hey guys, so I've got a tutorial today that somebody asked me quite a while ago and it was about almost making a blinking effect and um, it was in another game which um, the person suggested to me and it was about, you know, when you blinked it got rid of sort of an enemy or something like that. Now, you know, it could be used in a horror game. Now, I'm just going to show you simpler. This might not be the best way to do it, but this is just the way that I found it. Um, so, all I've really got in my scene, my first person controller, um, with main camera and just my normal, just anybody's normal assets that you'd find. Now, what I've actually done is added two cubes to the scene. So obviously, game object, create other, then go to cube. Create two cube, one cube, and then put it, you know, slightly above your character controller, and then just slightly below. Duplicate and make another. What I've done here is I have actually made it just, it just named it middle marker so I can actually tell what's going on and where I need to actually change the animations so you know I've placed these as if they're going to be eyelids so the top one obviously is going to be the eyelid top and then the eyelid bottom now what you can do when you have the main camera you can adjust it so that if you click on this and you know you pull it too far up you'll see the main camera you'll see it in the main camera so if I bring it back down and go back to the main camera you'll see nothing's obscuring it at the moment and you can see by this little bounding box that you can see just where the focal point comes out from the camera and what I've done I've added my middle mark just so I see how you know roughly how far to pull it down when we're gonna blink for the game so that's pretty much it you just need to position the two boxes you know in front of the main camera slightly above so you can't see it and then you can have this you don't have to now what I've done I've actually deleted the um, box colliders off them because when you run around and you are seeing it can sometimes collide with the floor and make it difficult to walk so just delete any colliders on it and leave the mesh render what I've done is created a new material by going create um, material and just making like an eyelid material which is just a solid black so you, you know I don't want any color also you might want to um, take off anything if the mesh receives or cast shadows because you don't want it to do that you just you know want it to be a, a sort of visual effect now we're gonna go ahead and make the animations now so if you click on the whichever lid the top lid for the moment go to animation we'll create a new animation and we'll call this um, blink top for ease of sake click on transform select them all create a new keyframe at one go um, possibly a tenth of the second along pull it down to sort of where the middle of your marker is maybe a little bit further then go back to let's go to a twentieth uh, of a second and pull it up roughly where you know you think it needs to go you can put another marker to see where your first bit ended so you know you'll play it and you'll see it'll do just that sort of effect now that's all well and good make sure that play automatically is unticked because you don't want it to play automatically we'll do exactly the same thing for the bottom so we'll go window we'll go animation we'll create a new animation called blink bottom save that click on transform add a new keyframe at the beginning slide across to tenth of a second pull it up you know to about roughly in between move the scrub across to 20th and then go back down you know roughly as we had it before and you know you get a similar effect now what I'll do is add these two um, animations to my blink folder and then we actually need to create a simple script which is gonna hold let us you know click and blink almost so make a script and call it blink and then what we'll do is open up in model develop once that's open we'll delete the two functions and we'll say variable top top lid as type game object and variable bottom lid as type game object and then we'll say function start add the two brackets add two curly brackets and say um, top lid equals game object dot find and then whatever your game object that holds the animation is called so eyelid underscore top close that up then we'll say bottom lid equals game object dot find open brackets quotes eyelid underscore bottom 
this is just for me, you can name it whatever you want. And then under there we'll say function update, add the two brackets, add two curly brackets, and say if input dot get mouse button down, open bracket zero, close the two brackets, add two curly brackets underneath and say top lid dot animation dot play open brackets in quotes top oh so I put blink top for our animation and bottom lid dot animation dot play um, open brackets blink bottom close that up put a semicolon save that out if we go back into unity go on the main camera add the blink script we're going to need to add our two game objects so top top lid and bottom lid and then if we press play you'll notice there's nothing that appears in front of the screen until we left click and you'll notice that you know there was a blink that we had in front of the screen and it just plays the animation of the two um, boxes essentially now you might notice a little bit of edging from either of the two so that's obviously where the animation has ended so what we can do is if you need to change it select the object go back to animation then you can go to the end of your animation say and just pull it up a little bit more go to the bottom one click animation scrub just scrub across to the end where your last keyframe is and just pull it slightly further down close it off play it again and you'll notice you know the both go off the end of the screen nicely so that's pretty much just the basis of creating a very simple blink script and all it all the script does it finds the two objects that we want to find and then it just plays the animations on those objects when we left click so that's pretty much it thanks very much for watching and as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers